Hacks Book 1, Chapter 18 A special someone will have you seeing fireworks in the Love Hacks Book 1 finale, but who will you choose? Chapter 18 The Ending Will Blow Your Mind Now playing as Danny. You're at the Clicket anniversary party with your friends, waiting to hear Martin's big announcement. Clickers, friends, honored guests, Thank you for coming to our anniversary party. Clicket has been around for a few years now, and we've dominated the competition. This past year, our new app launched and held steady at a million DAUs. We added a bunch of new pages, including Endzone and Love Hacks, which have been huge successes, and we tripled the number of women on staff. Serena leans over and whispers to you. How many women did they have before? Two? I think it was just Isabel, actually. Jeez. No wonder Martin was so desperate to recruit me. But even as we celebrate what we've done, we can't slow down or let up. Can't stop, won't stop. Right, Big M? Right. I can't believe he tolerates something like that. We have big plans for the future, so we've got to stay on our toes. But for tonight, we've got a special show for everyone that will start in just a few minutes. Everyone head up to the main deck. Your co-workers and their guests start to file up the stairs. Felix, do you know what the special show is? It's a huge fireworks show. Martin arranges it every year. It's actually pretty amazing. In fact, Felix looks around, then lowers his voice. I found the perfect spot to watch it last year. The upper deck will be nice and secluded, with Martin directing people to the other side of the ship. You should take someone special up there to watch. Don't you want to take Isabel up there? Nah, we're good. Besides, after all the help you've given me the last few weeks, this is the least I can do. Go, spend some quality time with someone you care about under the beautiful fireworks. Thanks, Felix. The room clears out as most of the party guests head to the main deck. You spot three familiar faces among the stragglers. Mark, Leia, Ben... You close your eyes and let the memories of the last few weeks wash over you. I'm meeting some of my friends at the Double Tap later. You should come. It'll be like old times. We gotta start somewhere, right? Come have a drink with me, Danny. I can't be the only badass female writer in the virtual media game. That'd be exhausting. Whether I end up at Clickert or not, I'd love to keep in touch and hear about what you've got going on next. Hi, Danny, I'm assuming? You do not look like how I expected. I'm hoping that's a good thing. You take a deep breath and lock eyes with the person you want to watch the fireworks with. I mean, the problem with this scenario is... I'm kind of with Ben on a date, and I really haven't had that much interaction with Leia, so... I mean, in the real world, it would kind of be horrible to ditch my date and go with someone else to watch the fireworks. Oh, class diamonds. 30 diamonds, okay. Not watching the fireworks. On second thought, you look around and your eyes fall on the bar. Now's my chance to get a drink without the crowd. You head toward the bar. Danny, aren't you going to watch the fireworks? Nah, you guys go on without me. If you insist, you're missing out. You should at least order a fireworks fiesta to stay in the spirit of things. Great idea. Your friends head up to the main deck and you find yourself alone with the bartender. One fireworks fiesta, please. Coming right up. You sip your drink as you wait for everyone to come back from the fireworks show. Afterwards, your friends rejoin you at a table by the bar. Damn, Danny, how many fireworks fiestas did you have? Just the one. Cole looks skeptically at the empty glasses strewn on the table in front of you. I swear, most of these were here when I got here. Maybe we should get you some water. An Advil and a greasy hit burger for the hangover. 
Uh-oh. Danny, your boss is waving you over. Are you sure you're okay to talk to him? You look up to find Martin motioning you over to him. Very sure. I'll be fine. Okay, well, we'll be right here if you need us. You make your way over to Martin. He's standing by the refreshment table, stacked high with uh, hors d'oeuvres and a chocolate fountain. Danny, over here. Martin hands you a glass from the nearby champagne tower. I was just bragging about you to everyone. You smile as Martin introduces the group of investors one by one. Across the circle, you make eye contact with Leah. She looks meaningfully at Martin, then rolls her eyes. And of course, our most lovely guest, Ms. Blair Hall, EVP and head of Mansing Transglobal's tech division. It's so nice to meet you all. Martin was, showing, was just showing us part of your article draft. It's seriously good, Danny. It's going to be a huge career booster for you. Play your cards right, and it'll take you straight to the top. You're just saying that because... Uh, Martin's standing right here. Trust me, I'm not sugarcoating anything for Martin's sake. Your article is legit fantastic. I have to agree. It's not my usual fare, but... There's appeal to your style. Sharp. Unique. There's a market for your voice. Thank you, Ms. Hall. Um... Sometimes I worry that I'm going too far. Just because I don't use their real names doesn't mean these guys won't be hurt by what I write. It's a fine line, and I do my best not to cross it. I admire your honesty. Martin rubs his hands together and grins. I'm so glad to see... My girls. Ugh. My girls are all getting along. You and Leia make eye contact again. This time, you catch Blair sporting the same look. Actually, I called you over for another reason, Danny. I wanted to tell you we're rebranding the Love Hacks. We are... You'll have a totally new look, new feel, new content. You'll still be in charge, of course, and we're using your 10 guys article as a pivot point. Your stuff is good, but it takes too soft an angle. Pulls too many punches. People want something sassy, scandalous. Seriously? I don't think I can do this, Martin. Next, it'll be 10 more losers you date in your 20s or how to get dummies to pay for your drinks. That sort of thing. Martin, that sounds, um... Yeah, cruel. I don't want to write articles that are mean-spirited so the whole internet can laugh at these poor guys. But that's how you get the clicks, Danny. I kind of figured you'd make a fuss, so I already talked to TJ about ma helping you make the transition. What is it with you and TJ? TJ? Has he not noticed our interactions since I got here? TJ pops his head inside the circle. You rang? Martin, I can't work with TJ. Don't be silly, Danny. Of course you can. He's very easy to work with. Yeah, Danny, I'm easy. That's not, a, that's not what I meant. You take a deep, calming breath. Leia puts a, puts a hand on your arm for support. I really don't feel comfortable. He came to my apartment last night and... Danny, I don't need to hear about what you and your co-workers do in your free time. You're embarrassing me in front of my guests. Seriously? Stop being a baby and put your personal feelings aside for the good of the company. Marn's words awaken a rage and a hurt inside you that you didn't know existed. You think back on all the injustices you've experienced at Clicket from day one. Of all the condescension, the harassment, and the way they plan to twist your writing. You take a deep breath and... That's it. I'm done. Yes. Done complaining? I certainly hope so. No, I mean, I quit. Whoa. I did not see that coming. Oh yeah? And what about your precious article? You gonna throw away all that work? 
my article, I'm scrapping it. Might as well go all the way. I'm not letting you ruin my work anymore. You can't do that. We have a contract. Really? I'm contractually obligated to turn in that article? I doubt that. I don't care. Take a stand. You decided not to turn in your article. Danny, be reasonable. Be reasonable? <laughs> be reasonable? I should walk away without a word. Because I'm not spending diamonds. Probably can't afford it. You take a deep breath and turn and walk away. Danny, Danny, don't walk away from me. Not another word. You ignored Martin as you quit. You continue on, ignoring Martin completely. After you leave the ship, you stop to catch your breath. Danny, wait up. You turn to find Ben, Leah, and all your friends rushing toward you. You left without us. Sorry, I just had to get out of there. No need to apologize. I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god, I don't have a job. Don't think of it as losing a job. Think of it as gaining your freedom. Which is definitely cause for celebration. And I know just the place for that. Double tap. Before you know it, you and your friends are back at the double tap. So this is the bar I've heard so much about, huh? Very cheers. Yeah, I'm getting massive everyone knows your name vibes. I've only been here as a delivery girl. This is my first time as a customer, which means I can finally spin around on the bar stools. I think I'll whip us up a batch of my legendary flaming foreshadows. Definitely not. You know those are fire hazard. Please, Horatio. Fine, but only with adult supervision. Uh, does that mean Horatio? A few minutes later, they present your group with a round of flambéed drinks. Ooh, that looks really cool. Flaming foreshadow. Cheers. To new business opportunities. May we stay hustling. To young love in all its forms. To not putting up with those scumbags anymore. I love you, Serena. And to, uh, you know, friends and stuff. To Serena finally doing a sincere group toast. To moments just like these, with people just like these. Aww. You all blow up, or not blow up, you all blow out your drinks and take long sips. Ah. Later, you, you're ordering another drink when... So this is the famous double tap? Felix and Isabel are standing arm in arm by the door. Yay! Felix, Isabel, what are you guys doing here? Well, the party was a little bland after you left. Mostly, Martin just seemed really confused, and TJ is being, well, TJ. Once they ran out of the shrimp, pu shrimp puffs, Felix and I decided to split. I'm glad you guys decided to come here. Horatio, a round of drinks for Felix and Isabel. They've got some catching up to do. On it. After getting their drinks, Felix and Isabel file into a booth. You smile when Isabel reaches over to take Felix's hand. Cole and Serena are by the jukebox. Cole is swaying on his feet, clearly in drunk debate mode. Do you think just because I'm dressed immaculately that I won't slay you in a dance-off? You're on. You've had a drink or three too many, and I'm just buzzed enough. You smile as the two of them start dabbing and twerking. On the other side of the bar, you spot Horatio and Tara huddled together. So if someone sneezes, it's called a Rudolph, and the last person to touch their nose has to drink? Exactly. You'll be a red herring pro in no time. You slide into the booth next to Ben and Leia. Hey, Danny. Leia was telling me she wants to start a lifestyle blog with you. I know it's been a crazy night, but have you given my offer any more thought? I have. 
Just then, Mark sidles up, supporting a very drunk Cole on his shoulder. Leah filled us in. We all think it's an amazing idea. Cole would, di- Cole would agree if he could stop slurring his speech. You can write, hey, write what you want. No, Martin, and no, TJ. You grin. I'm in. Let's do this, Leah. Who run the world? You and Leah are starting your own company together. We're going to take the Bay Area by storm. Yes! See, this, hick, this is beautiful. Everyone getting along. Cole puts his arm around your shoulder and tries to whisper, but his voice still rings out clearly. I'm glad you're so chill about Mark being totally and completely in love with you. Oh, shoot. The music cuts out, and it's as if the entire bar has heard Cole's statement. (gasps) 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 Danny, why is everyone so quiet? Maybe you should say something. I... What do you say to that? To be continued. Coming soon in Love Hacks Book 2. It's a great opportunity for me. But it means you'd have to move away, doesn't it? Leia, who is she? My ex. Danny, is this how you really feel? Ben, I... I can't believe we're going to Las Vegas for your wedding. Thanks for playing Love Hacks Book 1. Be sure to check out Book 2 coming soon. I hope it's either Felix and Isabel or um, Horatio and Tara getting married. That'd be cool. Something that I actually made happen. <laughs> um, so that's the end of um, book one. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Um, you guys are awesome. See you in future videos, hopefully.